I never, in my whole life, right through my whole life, I never had a bad word, I never fell out. I worked for him many a time, tenting and plastering, he was the hardest man to tend, because he went like a rocket. You couldn't, you couldn't, have, you couldn't have made plaster for him. But uh, before I do anything, I want to do this thing special here. I want to thank Lynn for everything she's done for Patsy and the family. Yeah. Then come down to our house and I was in the weekend at the hospital and she left work in the morning. And I, as soon as, as soon as that morning, texted me then to tell me, or phoned me that this was on. Because you have to have your phone half in the, in the hospital. And I didn't put it on until I was in the centre. And I, Kevin Donnelly was offering to buy me half of this and half of that, and rubbing red breasts and things. And I, he only offered you the shoes, they won't take them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why big long trunks. He said, you have a, you give him a, the best in the house, uh, 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 a Jamison. Uh, maybe a Robin Redbreast or something like that. You know, and this and on. And I go down and I say, tell you what, I have to go to the toilet, Kevin. Because whenever Kevin now, he's had a note, he, he has a bad operation, but he has this complaint. And I'd say, Kevin, well, I'll get you a wee half, half, you want a pint there, a half pint, you know. And he said, oh, I have to go to the toilet, I have to wet, I'll go back in a minute. <laughs> This thing I've got, and he runs like he runs like hell. I have to wet. I have to wet. I need to go now. Says this thing I've got. So he says to me, "Give him room. The best in the house, sir. Uh, 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 half in the brandy or half in a whatever he wants. Would you run a rubbing my breast? No, no, no. no give, give, give him. That. I said, Kevin, I have to wet. I have to wet. <laughs> and I run up, you see. And I was only having a bit of crack one. But I come back down again, and he says to me, "What happens?" And then I got a phone call from Warren saying. Uh, that your daddy was there. Mm. And I says, oh boy, oh. So I got that there. And I went over and I went over and I hit down. I said, Donna, yes, I says, mate, you're talking about getting a half and you were, you know, you were going to get me a half and like, you know. <laughs> but you really didn't want to get me a half. And I says, I'll take that half and what do you want? He says, I said, I'll have a half of that at Valentine's, which is a bit dearer than the, <laughs> the, the Jamas and all that there. Whatever he wants, whatever he wants, you give it to him. Me and him have been a long time. So I want to do this for Patsy McGuire and thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. You and your whole family and all. Yes, we're very good. Thank you. You organise everything. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're on the ball now. Organise everybody. But this is a song this song. I just sing everything the way I want to sing it. It's not great, you know. You should do this. I don't know. <clears throat> You see, there were the seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. You know, they were praying for them lovers in the valley of the gun. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne. Then seven Spanish angels took another angel. He looked down into her brown eyes. He said, Please say this prayer for me. Why she threw her arms right around him, saying, God will keep us free. But he could hear those letters coming. He said, This is my last fight. Cause if they take me on back to Texas, you know they won't take me back alive. For there were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. You can sing if you want the chorus. <laughs> they were praying for them lovers in the valley of the guns. Yeah, yeah. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne. Then seven Spanish angels took another angel home. She reached on down there and picked that old gun up that lay smoking in his hand. And she said, Father, please forgive me. You know, I can't make it without my man. And she knew that gun was at their Lord. She knew she just couldn't win. But her final prayer was answered when those rifles 
out again. For you see, there were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. I do declare that was true, boy. They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the gun. Well, 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 when the battle stopped. Then the smoke cleared. You know there was a thunder from the throne. <laughs> then seven Spanish angels took another little angel home. You know there were seven Spanish angels took another angel. Right on home, right on home. I do declare that was true, boy. Yeah. <laughs>